beautiful Ballycotton for the first ever episode of the Ring of Cork travel series. We're starting the day with the beautiful Ballycotton cliff walk and ending the day out there exploring with Ballycotton sea adventures. Ballycotton is 45 minutes from Cork City and it is a picture perfect fishing village which overlooks Ballycotton Bay and its beautiful beaches. here in the Ballycotton Cliff Walk. It's known for its spectacular scenery like this behind us and its wildlife. The walk itself is five miles along the coast with this worn pathway and it isn't a looped walk so when you go out you have to come back as well but I don't think you'll mind because there's spectacular scenery all around. So we're just about to go meet Eddie now and we're going to go on a tour of the magnificent Ballycotton Island and its coastline. So we're here, we're at the top of the lighthouse right now. So we came out on the boat. Do you want to fill us in a little bit about the tours that you do? The tour actually starts at the harbour and it entails a nice boat trip out, which is about 10 minutes out to the lighthouse. The lighthouse is 0.9 of a mile from the pier to the landing at the lighthouse. So it takes about 10 minutes and a lot of people enjoy the boat ride. I can't believe we're able to come up to the very top of the lighthouse here. What does the tour entail when you're here? As, as I said, the tour starts inside and we give you a little brief on Belly Cotton itself and our famous lifeboat and so on and all that kind of thing. And then we come on to the landing. We explain to our, our tour that, you know, this is where the life people would have landed in the day and what, they, what it, that entailed, bringing all their supplies and taking it all the way up. As you know, the, steep, the walk is quite steep up. What we do as well, we look at our tour and we see, you know, if they're elderly or very young, so we take our time and we stop halfway up and have a chat and then we move on up again. First of all, to the gateway and we talk about that area there because that's quite a significant spot there for this island because it was, you know, I heard the goats on the island and there were milk there and we explain all that. We move around the, the lower part of the compound and we explain all about the houses and where they got their water. We give them a whole brief of what it was like to live here. And I think it's very special too that you were the lighthouse keeper here as well. Yeah, yeah, I was lucky enough to, to join here as, as a, what they call a supernumerary assistant keeper back in the 60s and I was, yeah, I was lucky enough because it was local I was sent here quite a lot during during that period of time that I was in, but I didn't stay in the service. I actually left. But having said that, I, I did spend three years coming in and out here, so it was lovely. So you know this island at the back of your hand? Yeah, yeah, I do indeed. <laughs> I do indeed yeah. We saw some fabulous photos of you even milking the goats and everything on the island. Yeah, we, as I said, yeah, we did. We, we, um, the, the, the light keepers on, on Belly Cotton Island at that time were known as the light keeping farmers because we had a little bit of real estate as you can see there was a bit of grass albeit very steep now and that so you couldn't keep a cow here or you couldn't keep any but goats were quite happy and there's still goats on the island today even though they are not descendants of the light keepers goats they were brought out a few years ago and they're still here and how long do the does the tour last the tour as from the time you leave the pier it's an hour and a half and i think it just it's just about the right amount of time because um if you have young children, you know, they can get bored and so on and so forth. We try and include the children as well. We do little things for them, like the light keepers trampling and we counting steps and looking for the goats and so on. So an hour and a half overall. And but how often do the tours run then? The tours will run on demand really at the height. We're running six, seven tours a day at the moment. Like because things are quieting down, I was they are running three and four and maybe the weekends five and six. So we're going to have another look around here and um, we enjoy, enjoy being on the island. It's great to be here on the island and not just look at it from, from Ballycotton. Yeah, and, and we're delighted to have you on, on the island and by all means look around and, and, and take it all in and, um, and thanks for coming out and, and, and being part of what, what we do here.
what a great start to the series, a day full of adventure and adrenaline. So that's it for the first episode of the Ring of Cork travel series. Join us next week when we're going to be exploring Tribulgan, we're going to be going to Roaches Point and exploring the beautiful beaches of East Cork.